Hey Thinksters and welcome to today's Coffee Break Python. So in today's um, video you're going to, le to learn about the Python get attribute uh, method and um, the, uh, it's a built-in function in Python so I, I, I named it wrongly as a method, it's a function and it takes two arguments. The first one is an object, the second one is a string and the string is a representation of the attribute. So say you have an attribute foobar, then it will be the string representation foobar, uh, which you pass into the get attribute function and it simply gives you the current value of the function. And there's a third argument you can use and this is the default, uh, default argument. And so if the attribute encoded by this, uh, repre repre represented by the second argument, if it doesn't exist, uh, for the object, then you can um, you can provide a default value, and then it will return this default value. Um, in case you, for example, a user types in an attribute, and you want to uh, allow him to access this attribute uh, of a, of a given object, but the user may type in some wrong representation, some attributes that may not exist. So in this case, you can provide him with a default uh, value, and this like um, is it's called defensive programming. So you can uh, give some 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 uh, default values, return some default values. Okay, so let's have a an example or a usage usage example um, uh, that you can uh, like uh, use in your own um, interpreter if you want, or you can just follow follow along uh, as I go over the code example. So say say you define a class with one attribute, the class car, okay? And here this is uh, the constructor, it takes two arguments and the first one is a, is a self argument which is uh, a part of any method in any um, class definition. And uh, so, so we have our constructor method and it takes two arguments, the brand of our car as a string value, for example, and the speed as an integer value, for example. And now you set the two. Uh, now we have two attribute attributes. The first one is the attribute brand. The second one is the attribute speed associated to the class. Now first, let's create two objects. Like we create a Porsche object and we create a Tesla object, and we use the car. Uh, constructor to create an instance of the class. We, in, in, in the Porsche object we set the first argument, the brand argument to Porsche and the second argument, the speed argument to 100. And here and, and our second object is called Tesla, so the name is Tesla and we pass a string. Uh, Tesla is the uh, first attribute and uh, the second attribute will be uh, the speed attribute set to 110. And now there are two alternatives way to get the brand to get the instance attributes. So the first one, this one, this first method here, this is for the for the Porsche and we use the get attribute or get attr uh, method, built in method in Python. So you simply type in get attr, you pass the Porsche and you pass the brand, brand you pass as a string value, not as, as a name, right? So we have like the brand attribute. Um, so we can access it like this, tesla.brand. We can access the attribute like this or get the attribute value like this. Uh, but we, if, we are, if we are using the get attribute function, um, then we need to pass the attribute name as a string, not as a name. Yeah, so we pass we we pass this one and we get the attribute associated to the to the brand and you, and I will give you an example why this uh, get attribute method exists in the first place if you can also use the simple uh, dot notation to access attribute values. Okay, and uh, and we print the brand and the speed of Porsche and the brand and the speed of uh, Tesla and. Um, Maybe we comment this out. So let's run the code for now to see what it does. It gives us Porsche 100 and Tesla 110 as an output. And um, so what happens if we print, if we get an attribute that doesn't exist? So say, say color. Okay, so here we print get attribute Porsche and we pass the co color attribute name. And this doesn't clearly doesn't exist. So now it throws an attribute error car object has no attribute color. Okay, so in this case we can set the third uh, argument. The third argument is the default value. So this returns the default value of the get attribute function. If you run this, we obtain the color red. So even if it doesn't exist, now it, uh, like a Python, um, it seems for a user of the function, it seems like uh, this this um, uh, attribute exists, color exists, and it is the default value red. Okay, so this is uh, it. Um, this is a good way to to basically. This is one of the two reasons why this method exists, that it, it also provides you with a default attribute. Good. Okay. So we have. So you have to see the syntax of the argument uh, of the of the object. So we, uh, of the 
function, a built-in function. It takes an object, it takes an attribute, and you can also provide an uh, optional default value. And it returns an object, which is the value associated to the um, instance, or it uh, default if you provide a, pro provide a default value. And um, So why why should you use this in the first place if you can also use the simple in indexing scheme or uh, dot notation like this one tesla.brand this seems to be more concise and in many cases I I would agree it's more concise and more readable so you should prefer this one but in some cases it's better to use the get attribute um, uh, built-in function for example uh, if you need a default value or give users default values and um, otherwise it would be like if you would 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 have to implement the same then you would have to check if so you would uh, you would have to use a try catch uh, blocks or uh, try accept statements so you, you would try to access tesla.color for example and then you would c catch it with an accept block and so on so this is but this is not I mean this now takes four or five lines of code and I wouldn't recommend this I would just use the um, uh, this method get attribute method with the default value this uh, like does it in one command you don't need to uh, to do all this try accept and catch the exceptions in case the color attribute doesn't exist and so on and the second reason why this method exists is that you can access uh, an attribute via the um, string value instead of the name itself and why is this uh, an advantage it may not be an advantage for you if you write the script in advance but if you create a program that takes some user inputs and this is this happens quite frequently so a user types in uh, say say you give the, you provide a user an, uh, a large object with different attributes and now the user can actually type in uh, using the input method or any other built-in method type in uh, the attribute name and, and you and you provide uh, you generally provide the user with the input name and now um, now you don't know I mean now if the user types in something then you only have an um, a string representation of the input you don't have the name yeah so I any input you catch for example say you store the input in a, in a variable s um, now you simp now you have the string so you cannot you cannot write tesla dot and now some string here this would just throw an exception yeah so therefore you you need to use the get attribute method in this case if you have the attribute only as a string representation and you don't have it as a as a as a name yeah because the name i mean you need to modify the namespace to create new names like this that you can access without the quotes without this uh, string representation okay so if you have the string and uh, attribute as a string then you need to use the get attribute um, function so these are the these are the um, two reasons why this uh, function exists. Okay, so I hope you learned something out of it. The uh, get attribute ma method is a um, concise way of um, getting an attribute from an object, and uh, and it does it with the two advantages that you can access it using string values, so string value uh, representation values of the attributes. And the second advantage is that you can access um, you can give provide a default value to the user. Thanks for listening to this video. If you want to uh, boost your Python skills and definitely check out my uh, free Finkster Email Academy. I give a link in the description below. Uh, I will send you a lot of uh, educational Python emails and you can just uh, listen them and in improve your skills one bit at a time, one email at a time. Like if you have a 1% improvement every day for 365 uh, days, you actually have a 36x improvement in coding skills. And uh, so if you want to um, exploit this uh, huge, huge gain uh, in, um, uh, in momentum in your skill improvement, then definitely check out my email academy. Uh, as I said, it's free. It contains a vast uh, library of uh, free courses that you can access email courses and you will get emails in your inbox you can even decide which types of emails uh, you want to um, consume okay thanks for watching the uh, this video and see you in the next video bye